We've made quite a few videos on roadmaps and resources to help you level up your AppSec skills before, but today I wanted to collect all of the, at least in my opinion, best free resources and tools to help you either break into or level up your web app pen testing or bug bounty skills. After we've been through the tools and resources, I've added a small section, which is a quick start guide. So if you're starting from zero and you're feeling a little bit overwhelmed with all of the stuff that I've thrown at you, it should help you you decide on what to focus on first. As always, if you enjoyed the video, then don't forget to like and subscribe and let's dive in. So the tools for web app pen testing are generally pretty straightforward, but when we enter the world of bug bounty, depending on your methodology and what you prioritize, it can get pretty wild. So let's start with taking a quick look at a few general tools that pretty much help in every situation. And then we'll talk about where you can find other useful things that you might want to check out in the resources section after. All right, so first up, we're going to need a proxy that lets you intercept traffic. And we have two major players here, Burp Suite and Kaido. And Burp Suite is like the OG of proxies and manual testing for web applications. And Kaido is a year or two into the scene now. So what I'd recommend is you check them both out. They both have kind of strengths and weaknesses. Burp Suite obviously has a lot of plugins, a lot of features, and a lot of people use it, but also the intruder is throttled and it's quite heavy as well. Kaido has a much cleaner interface in my opinion, and isn't throttled uh, and has some really powerful workflow capability and also is free for students as well. So if you're a student and you don't want to shell out $400 for Burp Suite Pro, you can get a free pro version of Kaido instead. And to be honest, you're only as good as you are good. The tool isn't going to necessarily hold you back or make you better. The only real use case that I have personally where I wouldn't be able to drop Burp Suite is that I use Burp Suite Scanner quite a lot and I rate that really highly. And of course, you could go ahead and use something like Zap Proxy, but I don't think it's on the same level in my opinion. So, but today we're talking about free resources. So, but that gives you some insight into my background and why I use kind of both at the moment currently. So next up, we need to take a look at some command line tools that help us do some directory busting or fuzzing and things like this. And currently I'm using Dersearch. So if you have Kali, I think it probably comes pre-installed, but if you do Dersearch like dash u, for example, HTTPS, and we'll just go for gin and juice dot shop, you can see that it starts scanning the application and starts crawling it and we can find hidden endpoints and interesting information. Some alternatives to this are FFUF, which is fuzz faster you fool. And this is also a really good one. I used this for a long time. And there are of course other options like GoBuster and Ferox Buster, et cetera, et cetera. So again, give one or two of them a try, see what you like, stick with it for a while. Don't just switch tools every day for jokes because that's not gonna help your workflow. But if you see a new tool, give it a try and see whether it sticks with your workflow over time. But Generally speaking, you'll find something that works for you. After that, if we come into Firefox, CyberChef is a really, really important tool for converting information. So for example, if we have uh, Jeremy ate all the cheese like this, we can easily convert this to base64. And then again, we can take this and if you see a cookie or something and you're like, ah, oh, maybe this is base64 and I wanna have a look at it, you can then decode it. And of course there are lots of different operations you can do here and you can also stack them as well, which is really, really important sometimes. So this makes life a lot, lot easier. Hackverter is also a Burp Suite plugin that does something very, very similar. And that's a really, really good way of doing the same thing basically. So next up, I wanna share with you two free plugins that I pretty much use all the time and they're really, really helpful. So we have Wappalyzer here and then we have Firefox multi-account containers as well. So let's take a quick look at them. I'm gonna move my face out of the way so that you can see better. And if we come over to Gin and Juice Shop, and we come to here, extensions, Wappalyzer, you can see it gives us some estimation of what the technology stack looks like. And it's using the information from the page source here. So of course it doesn't have tons and tons of information. Sometimes information's missing. Occasionally the information is wrong, but most of the time it's a very quick way of understanding what you're attacking and what the tech stack 
actually looks like, which is super helpful. Usually when something's running as CMS, it'll give you a version, which again, then you can quickly look for CVEs or issues like that as well. And Firefox multi-account containers honestly is a total game changer for me because I get really irritated when I have to create multiple accounts, sign into accounts, sign out of accounts. I get confused sometimes of which account I'm in and what I'm doing, especially when I'm doing bug bounty and the sign-in process is long or you need MFA, for example, and then you want to sign out of something and then you're like, oh, did I do that on this account or this account? What was happening? So <laughs> long story short, Firefox multi-account containers lets you quickly create complete completely separate sessions in tabs. So you can see here that I've got Jeremy and Jessamy and moderator and administrator. So when I'm testing, I usually create an account as Jeremy. So if I come to gin and juice shop here, for example, you can see we've got a nice blue line at the top. And then if I come in here and come to the same application, you can see that we've got this yellow gold line or orange line at the top. So if I go ahead and sign in here as Carlos, Hunter 2. And then if I refresh this page or try and go to the my account page, you can see that I get sent to the login page as Jessamy and then Jeremy is still logged in. So these are completely separate sessions. So when you're doing A-B testing or you're testing, ah, uh, can this user attack this user, for example, it's a very easy way to switch between sessions and make sure that your attacks are working as intended. So one of my favorite plugins that I don't see many people using. And if you want to use a VPN, so you don't want to get like a bad reputation on your IP from things like Cloudflare, for example, you can easily integrate Mozilla VPN into here as well. And that's not a free resource, but that's the VPN that I use when I'm testing applications where I think I don't really want to be doing something from my home IP address because it's going to mess with me later on. Now we come to key resources. And the easy answer to this question is that you should start working through the Port Swigger Academy, but this is just a starting point. It covers the fundamental techniques that we need to know, but if you just learn these techniques and nothing else, then you're probably still less effective and way slower than any modern scanner. So what else are we missing? Well, there's recon, uh, numeration or application analysis, whatever you decide to call it, it's all kind of the same thing. But uncovering more attack surface is really important, even when you've been given extensive information on an application. That information isn't always entirely correct. And I can tell you that from experience. So to get started with this, what I would recommend is check out any of Jason Haddock's Bug Hunter methodology talks on YouTube and the repository, and make sure to focus on the discovery and mapping phases. There are also a ton of free tools in there, so plenty to be getting on with. So next up, I wanted to talk about the fundamentals. And we stress this a lot in general when giving advice to those who want to enter the world of cybersecurity. And AppSec is really no different. The best way to learn how web apps work so that you can become a more effective tester is to build stuff yourself. And anything like Free Code Camp or the Odin project are good starting points for this. Or you can just do what I do and build lots and lots of CTFs. That's also quite fun. But generally, when you build applications, you're learning how they work. You're going to be better at spotting symptoms or quirky behavior. And you're also putting down the foundations for learning how to do code review because you're spending a lot of time reading code and troubleshooting applications. The return on time investment for this is just wild. And a lot of people People who stagnate in their studies, I think, are those who just haven't spent time doing things like this. So, Free Code Camp and the Odin Project are two great resources. And finally, I want to mention that an excellent resource to pick up skills is Try Hack Me. Now, not everything in here is free, so that's why I left it until the end to mention it, but there are some excellent rooms and challenges. You just might have to do some digging around and maybe we can make a community-driven list. Let us know if you're interested in the comments below and we can kick that off as a nice little side project. But definitely don't skimp on this platform. There's a lot of knowledge and skills to be gained. So let's talk briefly about how to start from zero. And I'm not going to tell you that you need to do X, Y, and Z before you even start learning about web app pen testing. You can do it all in tandem. I still, to this day, I'm learning about web applications, building them, failing to build them, making coding mistakes, and ultimately learning how everything works. Now, for some reason, there is always a new front-end framework that's exploding in the world of AppSec and more and more 
services are being delivered as web applications. So make a start on Portswigger, sign up to the Odin project and build something that you think is interesting or something that will help in your everyday life and just enjoy the journey. And that's because there is no destination. It just keeps going. And so if you're only a few months in and everything sucks, then maybe explore some other branches of our awesome industry. But if you're enjoying it, then crack on and keep enjoying it. And that's it for this video. There's no secret sauce except consistency. And if you can seek out some like-minded people, then that really helps too. Catch you next time.